Hello, welcome again to the Author's Bookshelf. My book review today is Sunborn Rising Beneath the Fall by Aaron Safranoff. First, let me say that when I received the advanced reader's copy of this book, I was extremely, extremely pleased. Not only is it a beautiful book to look at, both front and back are well done, well conceived and well thought out. They give you a hint of what the story is about, but also the interior of the book is peppered with images, full color images. There are 40 of these throughout the book that will help guide the reader through the story. And now for the review. Welcome to a world called Cerulean. I'll try and center this for you, but it's somehow, there we go. It is a world unlike any other. The different groups who inhabit Cerulean all live in the loft, the upper reaches of the great trees. We first meet Bara, a Lisselspur, and her two friends, Tori and Plix. From the first page, I was caught up in the hijinks of these three teenaged arboreals. Bara is somewhat fearless and loves to go off exploring. In this manner, she is like her deceased father. When Bara finds her father's old journals, she is amazed to learn that his experiments and exploring have taken him far beyond the forbidden middens. She is also amazed to read that he was on the trail of what has caused the evil creeper vine that has taken over every living space and is slowly blocking out the natural light in the loft. But before her father could finish his scientific investigations, he met an untimely death. Now the loft is growing increasingly darker and vegetation is no longer lush and plentiful. A life without light is now the destiny of the arboreals. Assisted by Plix and Tori, Bara heads off to search for the cause of the creeper vine. What follows is an adventure into the unknown that ends in a life and death confrontation with the evil that lurks just beneath the surface. I loved this book in so many different ways that it's impossible to count them all. The story is vibrant and refreshing with characters that are endearing when they should be and deliciously evil when warranted. Who doesn't love a good villain? Along the way are plenty of characters that are easily identifiable yet unique. The story is easy to follow, but because it is set in a fantasy world, the author and publisher have provided the reader with beautifully illustrated layouts, many of them double page spread, which I showed you. These help the reader become immersed in the story in a very special way. The plot is suitable for middle school readers who are looking for an escape and a superhero in the same story. No off-color language, although emphasis for emotion, is portrayed through the character's tone of voice. Younger children may find two or three of the characters scary, but not terribly so. I was impressed with the design of the book as well. I like that each of the printed sections of the book were first bound by thread before being pressed together. Altogether, a quality book for the price, and although the twist, at, and I thought the twist at the end was terrific. The author, Aaron Safranoff, has a website where readers can go and become immersed in the world of Sunborn with background, interactive games, and more. A great way to keep the story alive while we await the next book. I can easily see this series becoming an Avatar-like movie in the future. I give this book five stars, and if possible, I would give it six to seven. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did.